Hey everyone, we are at the Woodlawn Memorial Park in Greenville, South Carolina, and we will be visiting the grave of Shoeless Joe Jackson. Joseph Jackson, better known as Shoeless Joe Jackson, was born on July 16, 1888 in Pickens County, South Carolina. As a child, he worked in a cotton mill, but he spent every spare moment playing baseball. By the age of 13, he was playing for the Brandon Mills team in the local textile league. He received his nickname of Shoeless during this time when he removed his shoes to run the bases during a game because his new shoes were causing him pain. Joe Jackson joined the Greenville Spinners, a minor league team in 1908. His hitting ability was quickly noticed he was signed by the Philadelphia Athletics later the same year. Unfortunately, Jackson struggled and was sent down to the minor leagues and appeared in only 10 games during the 1908 and 1909 seasons. In 1910, he was traded to the Cleveland Naps, later renamed the Indians and now known as the Guardians. Jackson's first full season in the majors was in 1911 and his rookie season was a record setter. He batted 408 with a 468 on field percentage. In 1912, he had a 395 average and led the league in triples. Jackson was quickly becoming a fan favorite. In 1915, Jackson was traded to the Chicago White Sox. His time in Chicago was where he reached the high point of his career and his popularity. In 1917, the White Sox won the World Series against the New York Giants. Jackson batted 304 in the six-game series. It was during the 1919 season, however, that Jackson's legacy would be forever tarnished. That year, the White Sox returned to the World Series where they were involved in the infamous Black Sox scandal. Several players, including Jackson, were accused of accepting money to deliberately lose the World Series against the Cincinnati Reds. Jackson's involvement in the scandal remains a subject of debate to this day. Some say he was not aware of the plan to throw the World Series. Others say he was aware of the fix to throw the World Series, but was not actively involved. Still others say he knew and did take part. Ultimately, he was one of eight players banned from baseball for life, despite maintaining his innocence. Jackson had a remarkable series that year. He batted 375 with 12 hits and a perfect 1,000 fielding percentage which many believe demonstrates that he was not involved in the fix. The resulting trial found him not guilty of taking a bribe to throw the World Series. Nevertheless, Shoeless Joe Jackson, along with seven other players, were banned from baseball after the 1920 season. After he was banned from baseball, Jackson continued to play in exhibition and semi-professional games. He eventually moved to Greenville, South Carolina, where he owned a barbecue restaurant and later a liquor store. Joe Jackson passed away on December 5, 1951, at the age of 63 from a heart attack. His legacy remains a subject of debate and fascination among baseball fans and historians. While many believe that Jackson's skills on the field make him worthy of the Baseball Hall of Fame, his barring from baseball prevents his induction. Overall, in his 13-year career, he had a 356 batting average with 54 home runs 792 RBIs with a 962 fielding percentage. Despite being rejected by Major League Baseball, Jackson still remains a beloved figure among fans who appreciate his incredible talent. Okay, and we're coming up to the grave of Shoeless Joe Jackson. This is one I've been meaning to visit for quite a while. And I think I see it over here. Obviously the one with a lot of baseballs on it. And here we are. Shoeless Joe Jackson. That's incredible. So just some stats on Shoeless Joe, uh, lifetime 356, batting average 54 home runs, 
Uh, played in two uh, World Series. Uh, obviously, everyone knows about the 1919 uh, controversial uh, World Series. Some say he did know that the games were fixed. Some say he did not know that the games were fixed. And others say he did know but didn't want to get involved and just played his game. That World Series was, for him, very impressive. It doesn't really support the theory that uh, he was throwing the game. Uh, in eight games, he batted 375, 12 hits with one home run, and he had a 1,000% fielding percentage. So you take it for what it's worth. I'd be interested in knowing if you believe he knew or if he didn't know or if he you know, just didn't want to get involved. But here you could see Joseph W., July 16th, 1888, December 5th, 1951. And Katie as well, 1893 to 1959. Like I said, I really, I really wanted to come out and see this one for, for such a long time. So he's definitely not forgotten. Unfortunately, he's remembered for, I guess, all the wrong reasons. But I think I'm gonna just see what's around in the area, take a walk around, spend some time here, pay my respects. But as always, you know, please like and subscribe if you, uh, if you like what you see on this channel. And I thank you, as always, for, for coming along and watching.